stop what you're doing right now and go grab a bottle of Miracle Food, suitable for all ages, the perfect cleanse and reboot, and it promotes a healthy immune system. Created by some of the most powerful superfoods on the planet, Miracle Food in this day and age is perfect for you. Don't wait. ChakraDoctor.org. Go grab your bottle of Miracle Food right now. Let them know Viral Hip Hop News sent you. Let's go. Well, you brought, um, you made me think about something when you brought up your mother and her keeping you away from your dad for what reason you don't know and that's an issue in our community that's not often talked about and that's when you know what i mean we have a a, a a parent situation doesn't work out the son in particular because we're all men here let's talk about the boys and talk, we could talk about the girls as well but let's just talk about yeah. the boys right now um and they leave them with the mother and the father may be a good man but for some reason she's not letting them see the kid and yeah. saying bad things and putting things in their head how detrimental yeah. is that to a young man and how important oh, is it for them to have oh, their father in their life no matter the situation? Brother, it's, it's, cr it's so criminal. The mothers have no idea. My, uh, Haywood, Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne on the show, he has three daughters. His wife is, did the same thing to him. Damn. And he's a good father, but she's upset because, oh, he, you know, he, I think he's cheating. I think he's, and he wasn't, but she was so jealous because He's popular among the women. Of course, they're going to grab him and kiss him in front of her because he was like that little heartthrob. But when she divorced him, she turned those girls against that man so bad. I saw that firsthand. And to the point that she made it seem like he didn't care or if he was supposed to take him for Christmas. The last thing was like he was supposed to take him for Christmas. So she said that, uh, oh, yeah, he don't want y'all there. So he's thinking that they are on their way. She does this trick where she tells him, like, he really don't, he has something that he, at the last minute, he has something else to do. So they told him, we're going to change our last name to our stepfather because uh, she, uh, they had, he, they had brothers and sisters now from him. Uh, and I don't know, he's 30 some years now, you know? And I know another friend, Michael, uh, same thing. Another friend, they, the woman will use the kid as a pawn. Uh, saying that he molested a child. I had a friend that went through that, and the FBI came to the door. He was staying with me. The FBI came. They gave him the lie detector thing. It was not true, and she was on the run. And he didn't get to see his son until the son was in his 30s. You know, right. they don't understand. And I have mad resentment. Yeah, I love my mother, but I had to be honest. I had, I didn't know. I it, and uh, someone was saying, Ernie, do you think you have resentment?" I said, "No," but you know what? I had to realize. I have mad resentment towards my mother because it's like I can understand as a baby because she thought, well, what, oh, he might kidnap you. That's the first thing she said. Well, we thought he might kidnap you because he was in Missouri and, and I moved to Gary, Indiana. OK, but I'm in high school. Still nothing. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. college, nothing. You know, even during what's happening, nothing. And even when there was one friend of hers that was going to tell me, because uh, I went home uh, during a break and uh, her friend was visiting. She, oh, boy, I know where your father is. Yeah, well, I said, well, call me and let me. Uh, she, okay, I'll call. It's when I called her, uh, look, I, I, I can't get in this. I don't know nothing because my mother had gotten to her. They don't realize, and they're doing this. This is still, the black women are still doing it with all the black power stuff. That's one area they're, they're still not. The majority to me have not gotten how they don't understand how important that is. You know, I feel it. I mean, my grandmother said, well, God is your father, but God made, made it so that there was a father and a mother, you know, and I had four right. uncles. Thank God. I had a, a pastor that would play that father figure role, you know, right. too. But it was always that longing. And even at 72, you know, yeah. he said, I don't know. You know, you think like, what if he was just there, you know? Uh, I, there's no, they, they, there's no one that, there's no role model. But I got to look. Well, I, I, like I said, I had the four uncles, but you know, they, someone that 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 looks like you, you know, your blood is in. He, he's, you got his blood. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Yep. Like, what would that be like? What is, the, what am I missing out on? You know. Yeah. And I I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. No. Apologize. No, you can finish. Apologize. No, I'm just saying that they it just it real. I've seen uh, the and I've even confronted one of them. I've said, "Now, look, sweet, I know. Yeah, he might have cheated on you, but he loved his children. Yeah. So don't spite him because of that. You know, yeah. Don't keep him from his kids. You know. And uh, I mean, she said whatever, but she still did it. She still did it.
you had a few friends that I grew up with that, um, you know, they didn't have their dads in their life and they would try to play it off like they didn't care. But every they would always bring it up. They would always bring that. That's how I knew that they really cared and they really longed for. So that's, that's a real important relationship. You know, the, uh, the father and the son. Personally, I have uh, I just finished a faith based film called Playhouse. Uh, that was in the theater for a brief moment, but it's on the Win Network. It's a free streaming service, but you do have to pay a fee for that film because it's a new film called The Playhouse. And then I have another film uh, called uh, Two Wolves. Uh, I think one of my best roles, uh, Mikhail Shannon Jenkins. That's one of my former pro protégés who's I'm about to do another film with him. And uh, he's a force to be dealt with, you know, talking about a believer in Christ and yet father, strong father, strong black man, you know. Uh, and so we had we the two wolves. That's on Tubi. That's another free streaming service. Uh, we also was on Amazon. Um, we have a film called The Gods on Amazon uh, and uh, The Chosen. That's also on, on Amazon. And uh and again, I'm about to do a new film with him where he has all this young cast. These young kids are Latino, black, white. They are amazing, man. So that's I'm playing an OG in this one. Uh, I am going to Comic-Con, Pensacon. I'll be in Pensacon in Florida, uh, May 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. I'll be there for that. Uh, so I'm always excited to meet the fans and... Uh, uh, and my, my, you know, the, the book from Raj to Riches, um, I'm getting, I just asked Jamie Foxx, as a matter of fact, <laughs> to be a producer, uh, I'm waiting for his, and he's been really nice, you know, but I'm waiting to see, I would like to get to do a documentary and, and then actually a gospel musical from Raj to Riches, you know, based on my life, um, and then I want to make that transition, if you will, from producer to, to producer, because I care a lot and I want to underwrite young brothers and sisters. They don't do a song and dance. You ain't got to sleep with me. You ain't got to worship me. You ain't got to kiss my butt. Just be prolific, be professional who you are and uh, just get the paperwork together and make it happen. I really want, I'm asking God for that. And, and I know that's going to happen. I want to, as, as, uh, Ron Howard did, and and uh, and, and Meathead from the uh, Sanford, uh, from all in the family, uh, Rob Reiner. Uh, I definitely would love to be behind the scenes now, uh, uh, and still do a film whenever. But that that's the goal. But right now, the Playhouse, uh, Two Wolves, um, uh, and the Chosen. You know, you can you can see those on the Amazon, Tubi, and the Win Network. Awesome. Also, my last question will be, you know, to you, because it's, tr it's truly a blessing to live, you know, a long age, 70s, Absolutely. 80s, 90s. What is your secret to success and just, you know, having longevity in Hollywood and in life as well? Well, first, I'll say Jesus Christ. I know people say, oh, man, you such a Bible thumper. I said, no, because I'm tr I cuss and all that. I'm a I'm a sinner knocking at heaven's door, you know, <laughs> uh, and I think God loves it. I'm real. I know he ain't done with me yet. I, I The secret is it's. I have love for people, man. Yo, man, this is Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who are going to check out this documentary. Shout out to my man, Lonnie Fresh. Do me a favor. Go to YouTube right now. Go subscribe to Viral Hip Hop News, one of the best hip hop platforms out here right now. We also have The Hub, Hip Hop News Uncensored, of course, the podcast, the baddest podcast out, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. We drop seven days a week doing this thing 100% independent. There was not one day that I was at work on the Fresh Prince of Bella that I wished I was somewhere. Now, let's talk about the Player Club because you, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's like your first major role in a movie, right? Taking over the game. Silly appreciate each and every one of y'all you can grab merch on the youtube site you can talk to me on there and much more sam and ceo of viral hip-hop news appreciate each and every one of y'all god you the man cast i spit white like a clan mask and i'm a hustler